Hello everyone, this is Babita, working as assistant professor in the department of electronics and communication engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today I am going to discuss about clamping circuits. So while coming to the contents, I am going to discuss about what is mean by clamper and uh, what are the different types of clampers and what are the applications of the clamp. So here, first of all, we have to know what is mean by clamper. So clamper is in one of the electronic circuit which is used to shift or clamp the DC level of the applied AC input waveform. So it is used for clamping the signal. So these clampers are also called as DC voltage restorers or level shifters. So this clamping may be in the positive direction as well as in the negative direction depends upon DC component where we are adding to our input wave. Suppose if we add the DC value to the positive direction or positive DC voltage, then we can shift our input waveform to the positive direction or else if we add the negative voltage to the applied input waveform in the form of DC, then we can shift our signal into the negative direction. So we can able to shift the signal in the positive direction as well as in the negative direction or above the horizon or below the horizon by using the basic clamper circuit. And we can also shift the signal from the specified battery level or voltage level depends upon how much battery voltage we are providing externally to the clamper circuit. So if we provide external battery voltage means from that particular voltage onwards our signal will shift towards the positive direction or towards the negative direction from that applied battery voltage. So here we can observe a practical clamper circuit. So this is the circuit. So this is the one of the practical clamper circuit we can observe here. So without application of the input signal or without clamping our device is in, in this particular position and after performing the clamping opera operation this knob is shifted to here so the total overall component is shifted to here so this is before clamping and this is after clamping so this is uh, one of the practical application of the clamping circuit here. So in order to construct the clamper circuit, we require diode capacitor as well as resistor here. While performing the clipping operation, we used only the resistor as well as the diode. So here one more extra element we are adding that is capacitor here in order to ship the DC level of the applied input AC signal. For that particular purpose, we are including the extra element called capacitor in the case of clamper. So here, uh, what is the operation of the diode? When we are providing the forward bias to the diode, it acts like a closed switch and we can take it as short circuit. And in all the analysis of clamper, I'm going to utilize the ideal diode. So for the ideal diode, when it is in the uh, closed switch form or in the forward bias condition, it is having zero forward resistance. And similarly, when it is in the reverse bias condition, it is having infinite reverse resistance. So in that particular case, ideal diode I am using here. And uh, the function of the capacitor is to store the charge here, store the electric voltage here. And resistor is used to control the flow of current in the circuit. So if we take any particular clamper circuit, the DC level of the clamper circuit is depends upon the resistor as well as the capacitor here. For example, if I take one particular clamper here, it is the combination of the capacitor, diode and resistor. I am giving 
my input voltage here i am observing the output voltage across the resistor okay so in order to operate this clamper in smooth way we have to consider the tau of this one that is equal to r c so tau is equal to r c and here we need to maintain the tau value as very high so how we can maintain this tau value as high means we have to take c value as low and r value as very high why we are maintaining c as low value and resistance value as high here means if we take the capacitance value is very less means it will take less time to charge because of that reason we are taking the c value is low and why we are maintaining the resistance value is high means this particular capacitor is discharging through this resistor so if the resistance value is very high means the discharging time will be very high why we are maintaining the discharging time is very high means in order to get our desired wave waveform across the output without any clipping or without any degradation in order to restore our original signal across the output we are maintaining the discharging time as very high here so once this discharging time is less means the waveform will reduce here so we cannot get the desired output waveform here so our intention of the capacitor is to shift the signal to the desired level but without uh, changing its actual information and actual shape and one more consideration here it is this tau value should be greater than the half of the time period of the input signal whatever we are providing for the clamper circuit i the discharging time of the capacitor should be always after five time periods of the input signal so these are the three assumptions we are going to use for the all the analysis of clampers here tau equal to rc and tau should be greater than the half of the time period of the input signal and the capacitor should discharge after five time periods of the input signal and here the variation of the time constant or tau here it is depends upon the input signal what what is the input signal we are providing for the clamper circuit and what is the status of the diode here so the capacitor charging and discharging time is uh, depends upon the applied input waveform as well as the status of the diode here so we should paint in tau value as very high so next uh, if we see the operating principle of clamper circuit here that is equal to so here tau equal to rc we have already discussed tau is nothing but the time constant of the circuit and this variation of the time constant of the circuit is depends upon the applied input voltage polarity of the applied input voltage as well as the status of the diode in the circuit whether it is in the conduction mode or in the non conduction mode so while coming to the classifications of clipper here we are having the so while coming to the classification of clamper here we are having pass through clamper negative clamper and negative clamper with biasing in that biasing again we are going to take the positive biasing as well as negative biasing and similarly pass through clamper circuit with biasing in this pass through clamper also we are going to take the positive bias as well as negative bias now we we'll see the working principles of each and every clamper slot so first of all i am taking the negative clamper circuit so i have already mentioned to construct the clamper circuit will require the capacitor diode and resistor so i have taken all that components here and always to get the clamped waveform at the output the diode should be parallel to the low or output here 
So, in order to analyze this negative clamp circuit, I am giving the sinusoidal input with the plus Vm in the positive direction, minus Vm in the negative direction. So, total voltage is 2Vm here. And after clamping also, I should get the total output voltage as 2Vm only, but the DC level of the signal should be shifted here. So, uh, generally for the AC signal, DC value should be 0, but after clamping, you will get something DC value across the output here. Suppose this particular input we are applying to our negative clamper circuit, our total signal is shifted to the negative direction from the origin here. We can observe on the output wave. So once we see the analysis of the circuit, we can understand how we got this particular wave. So for that purpose, I am taking one square wave with plus 10 volts in the positive direction and minus 10 volts in the negative direction. This is my input voltage. Here we can take any waveform, sinusoidal waveform or square waveform. Okay, I am considering first duration from 0 to T by 2 of my input signal. In that case, my input voltage is 10 volts. Okay, so once we are providing this positive voltage to this negative clamper means here it is minus, here it is plus. Okay, here it is minus and here it is plus. So in this case, for the anode terminal of the diode we are providing the negative voltage and for the cathode terminal of the diode we are providing the positive voltage. So that opposite polarity voltage we are applying. So in this case, our diode acts like a open circuit. So here I am considering the ideal diode so that once the ideal diode is in the open circuit form, it is having infinite resistance. So the current always will choose the low resistance path. So it will not choose this particular path. Why? Because it is having infinite resistance. So what is the signal we are applying? It will pass through the resistor and we will get the output across the resistor here, drop across the resistor will indicate the output voltage here. So what is the output voltage we are getting in this case? Is equal to, what is the input voltage we are providing that is plus 10 volts. I Next we need to calculate the capacitor voltage also also how much it is charged. So in this case, the capacitor is not charging here. Why? Because the diode is in open circuit form. And next I am considering the case T by 2 to T. In this case, my input voltage is minus first input voltage, I am taking the duration from 0 to T by 2, that is 10 volts. So here it is plus, here it is minus. So for the positive, for the anode terminal of the diode, we are providing the positive voltage and for the cathode terminal of the diode, we are providing the negative voltage. So in this case, diode acts like a short circuit. So once it is short circuit, means it is having zero resistance. So the current will flow in this direction. So what is the signal we are providing for the clamper? Totally it is moving to ground here. So in this case, I will not get any output. The output voltage is zero in this particular case. So if you draw the output waveform from zero to T by two duration, it is zero. But what about the capacitor voltage? So once the diode is conduction mode means the capacitor starts charging here with the applied input signal polarity. So plus is connected to this particular bit of the capacitor and negative terminal is connected to the this particular bit of the capacitor. So the charging of the capacitor I am indicating here it as Vc here. It is charged to V 
DC voltage. So in order to find the voltage across the capacitor, I am applying the TCL in this loop. So in this case, we will get here it as plus V in minus DC voltage across the capacitor. I have considered here it as VC. So VC equal to V in here. What is my input voltage? That is 10 volts. So the capacitor voltage here it is 10 volts. So the capacitor is charged to the total applied voltage 10 volts here during the duration of 0 to D by 2. And similarly, if we check for the next half cycle, that is T by 2 to T duration. Plus 10, minus 10, that is during the duration T by 2 to T, my input voltage is minus 10 volts. So in this case, here it is minus, here it is plus. Now, our diode is in non-conduction state, that is in open circuited form. So once it is open means it is having infinite resistance. So current will not choose this infinite resistance path. So the signal will move in this direction here. Okay. But here the direction of the current is like this. Direction of the current is like this. So to find the output voltage, I am applying the KVL here. That is plus VI plus V0, the capacitor voltage will not change here. Why? Because we considered already the discharging time of the capacitor is after 5 time periods. Here we have taken only one time period. After 5 time periods only the capacitor will start discharging. So in that period it will maintain the same capacitor voltage how much it is charged during the previous half cycle. So the capacitor voltage polarity is not changing because of that particular reason here. So the output voltage is equal to minus VL minus VC is equal to input voltage is minus 10 and my capacitor voltage I got it as minus 10. So total it is minus 20 ohms. So the output voltage during T by 2 to T is minus 20 volts. So if we draw the overall output voltage waveform that is from 0 to T by 2 and T by 2 to T. From 0 to T by 2 we got here it as 0 volts and from T by 2 to T minus 20 volts. So here if you see the total value of voltage in the input voltage, this value is 20 volts and here also the total voltage is 20 volts. So the amplitude of the signal should not change while clamping here. See here we can observe the amplitude of the signal is not changed here. And if we, if we take the average of this particular signal, for the input signal average value or DC value is 0, yes or no, that is peak to peak value divided by 2. Okay, V peak to peak value divided by 2. So that is 20, no, sorry, minus 10 plus 10 divided by 2. So here it is 0. The average value for the input signal is 0. But similarly, if we calculate for the output voltage, the average value we will get here it as minus 10 volts. Average or DC value, if we calculate, we can get it as 10 volts. So somewhere here it is. See, from this we can see the DC value is shifted from 0 volts to minus 10 volts in the case of negative clamper for this particular example. Here I have taken my input voltage is from minus 10 to 10 volts. So that's why it is shifted to minus 10 volts in the negative clamping circuit. So this will change depends upon our values here. But the DC level will shift depends upon which type of clamper we are choosing here. Here it is negative clamper. So that's why DC value is shifted to, towards the negative direction from the RC.
So this is about the negative clamper circuit. So next type of clamper is the pass to clamper circuit. So if we change the direction of the diode in the negative clamper circuit, we can able to make the pass to clamper circuit. So in this particular case, if you apply the input signal like this, we will get the output signal above the RSM. We can observe on the output wave. So again, in order to analyze this circuit, I am taking the square wave for easy understanding. Plus 10, minus 10, T by 2, 2. So again, for analysis purpose, I am using or I am considering negative half cycle first and the positive half cycle next. So this is for easy analysis purpose. We can also take the positive cycle first and negative cycle next also. So here I am considering my input voltage from 0 to t by 2 as minus 10 volts. So if it is minus 10 means here we are getting that it as minus, here it is plus. So in this case for the cathode terminal of the diode we are providing the negative voltage and for the anode terminal of the diode we are providing the positive voltage. So same polarity voltages we are providing here. So diode is in conduction mode now. So diode is in conduction mode. So once the diode is conducting means the total signal will appear to ground here and there is no drop across the resistor. So my output voltage is 0 volts for this particular duration. And at this instant once the diode is in conduction mode the capacitor starts charging with the same polarity of your applied input signal minus plus. So voltage across the capacitor Vc. So we need to find how much voltage is stored in the capacitor. For that I am applying KVL here in this direction. The current direction is from positive to negative. So here you will get it as plus V in plus V naught minus sorry only in this particular loop that is plus Vn minus Vc is equal to 0. So Vc equal to V in that is equal to V in is negative here so we have to take it is take it as minus of minus 10 ohms that is 10 ohms. If it is positive means directly we can take. So the capacitor voltage we got here it has 10 volts. So in this case my output waveform is 0 volts from 0 to t by 2 duration during the negative half cycle of applied input wave. And similarly I am considering the same circuit again in order to do the analysis of the next half cycle. So that is from T by 2 to T duration. In this case, input voltage is 10 volts. So polarity is positive and negative, but capacitor polar polarity will not change. It is minus plus only because of the five time periods time cost. So in this case, what will happen for the cathode terminal of the diode, we are providing the positive voltage and for the anode terminal of the diode, we are providing the negative voltage. So diode is in open circuit now. So it is having infinite resistance. Okay. So the total signal will appear across the resistor here. The total signal will appear across the resistor. So to find the total output voltage, again I am applying the KVL that is plus VI plus VC minus V0 is equal to 0. So V0 is equal to VI plus VC. My input voltage is 10 volts here 
and the capacitor voltage we got here it as 10 volts. So total output voltage is 20 volts. So if we draw the output waveform from 0 to T by 2 duration, output voltage is 0 volts and from T by 2 to T duration, output voltage is 20 volts. So who, the name itself indicating it is the pass to clamper circuit. So the total applied input waveform means shifting towards the pass to direction of the wave. This is about the pass to clamper circuit. And welcoming to the next classification of the clamper circuit, that is the clampers with biasing. In that again, I'm considering the negative clamper circuit with biasing. In the negative clamper with biasing also we can take positive biasing as well as negative biasing. In that I am taking the negative clamper circuit with positive biasing first. So what is the use of the biasing extra biasing here? So in the previous circuits in the positive clamper as well as in the negative clamper the total waveform we are try, trying to shift towards the positive direction or above the horizon or below the horizon. Instead of like that, if I wanted to shift the signal from particular reference level, in order to do that, we are providing external battery to the clamper circuit. If we provide like that, from that voltage onwards, our signal, our signal will shift towards the positive or negative direction. So here, I am considering the negative clamper circuit with positive biasing. To construct the, this particular circuit, First of all, we need to consider the negative clamper circuit and just we need to include one battery here. Only one extra element that is battery we are adding for the negative clamper circuit to make it as with biasing circuit. So in this case, if we apply this particular input voltage, we can observe this kind of output here. Whether we are getting this particular output or not, we can observe by doing the analysis of this circuit with the square wave. Here I am applying the input voltage 8 volts, right? Minus 8 volts. And first I am taking the 0 to T by 2 duration. And the input voltage is plus minus. So if we apply this particular input voltage, the diode will enter into the forward bias condition. So once the diode is entered into the forward bias condition means it acts like a short circuit. And in this case, output voltage, we will get it as how much battery voltage we are providing. I am taking battery voltage as 2 volts here. So the output voltage is 2 volts here during the 0 to T by 2 duration. I am drawing that output voltage here that is plus 2 volts from 0 to T by 2. And once the diode is in conduction mode means the capacitor starts charging here with the same polarity of the applied input signal and to find this capacitor voltage I am applying the KVL in this loop we will get it as plus VI minus VC minus 2 volts is equal to 0. So the capacitor voltage is equal to Vi minus 2 volts that is equal to 8 minus 2 volts is equal to 6 volts. So capacitor voltage we got here it as 6 volts and similarly same circuit I am considering again to see the operation for the next half cycle. For that I am taking my input waveform plus 8 volts minus 8 volts. So now from T by 2 to 
T. Input voltage is minus 8 volts. So once it is minus means here minus polarity and here it is plus polarity. And the capacitor polarity will not change. Why? Because we consider the discharging time of the capacitor after 5 time periods of the input wave. So for this negative input voltage, diode will act like a open circuit. So once the diode is in open circuit means there is no path of flow in the wave here. So it will flow in this way. And what about the current direction here it is from positive to negative in this direction. So to find the output voltage again we need to apply the KVL here. So if we apply the KVL to this total loop we will get it as plus Vi plus V0 plus Vc is equal to 0. This input voltage and this output voltage as well as voltage across the capacitor is equal to 0. So to find the output voltage here it is V0 equal to minus Vi minus Vc that is equal to input voltage is minus H and the capacitor voltage is 6 volts that is minus 14 volts. See if we draw the output voltage here from 0 to T by 2 it was 2 volts. 0 to T by 2 it is plus 2 volts and from T by 2 to T it is minus 14 volts. Minus 14 volts. See the total applied input voltage is 16 volts here and across the output also we got here it as 16 volts. But here for the input signal average value is 0 but for the output signal average value is 8. Okay, VDC value is 8. So it is shifted to 8 volts here. So it is the negative clamper. So that's why it shifted towards the negative direction. But we are providing the biasing as positive voltage. So that's why it is started in the positive wave, positive direction. But from that voltage onwards, it is trying to shift towards the negative direction. So this is the operation of the negative clamper with the positive bias. And next classification is negative clamper with negative bias. So in the previous circuit, if we change the direction of the battery, we can make the negative biasing negative clamper circuit. So in this case, if we apply the sinusoidal signal to this, we will get the output waveform in this way. So to check this, again I am considering the input waveform as square wave with plus 10 volts and minus 10 volts T by 2 T. So to see the operation of this one, I am taking the duration from 0 to T by 2. Input voltage is 10 volts that is plus 10 volts. So that's why here it is plus, here it is minus. So once it is plus, here it is minus means for the anode terminal of the diode we are providing the positive voltage and for the cathode terminal we are providing the negative voltage. But here we are also having the battery voltage 2 volts and taking. We have to see the diode status with this applied input voltage as well as the battery voltage. So input voltage is plus 10 volts and the battery voltage is minus 2 volts. So Anyway, both the voltages are making the diode into the forward bias condition. Why? Because for the anode, positive voltage and for the cathode, negative voltage. If it is opposite direction means we have to compare both the voltages. So which voltage is greater means depends upon that particular voltage, the diode state will change. So in this case, here it is, closed circuit. 
or short. So once the diode is short means what is the output voltage we will get here? What is the battery voltage we are providing? That much we will get that is minus 2 ohms. Minus 2 ohms is the output voltage during the 0 to T by 2 duration. Minus 2 ohms. Okay. So once the diode is conducting means the capacitor starts charging. So once it is charging means we have to find how much extent it is storing the charge. Further, again we need to apply the KVL here in this direction that is plus Vi minus Vc minus plus 2 volts is equal to 0. So in this case Vi plus 2 equal to capacitor voltage. So Vc equal to input voltage is 10 volts plus 2 volts. So the total capacitor voltage is 1 volts during the 0 to T by 2 duration of the applied AC input wave. And similarly again I am considering the same circuit to see the analysis of the next half cycle of the input waveform that is T by 2 to T 10 volts and here it is minus 10 volts. So from T by 2 to T my input voltage is minus 10 volts. So once we are providing the minus 10 volts means here it is minus, here it is plus. Again we need to check the status of the diode for both the applied voltages. So for the anode terminal of the diode we are providing the negative voltage that is minus 10 volts and again for the cathode terminal of the diode also we are providing the voltage but here it is 2 volts only. So 10 volts is greater than 2 volts so diode is in open circuit form. So once the diode is open means the signal will flow in this direction but the current direction is from here to here. So to find the output voltage we need to apply the KVL for this particular loop. So we will get it as plus Vi plus V0. Here it is plus minus only. So plus Vc is equal to 0. So the output voltage equal to minus Vi minus Vc. So input voltage is minus 10 volts and the capacitor voltage we got here it has 12 volts. So minus 12 volts. So the total output voltage is minus 22 volts in this duration. So if we draw the overall output voltage waveform we will get it as from 0 to T by 2 it is 2 volts so minus 2 volts and from T by 2 to T duration it is minus 22 volts. So total voltage in the input is 20 volts and across the output also 20 volts but the average value for the input signal is 0 but the average value of this particular signal is 10 volts. So this is the operation of the negative clamper with negative bias. And another kind of clamper is the pass to clamper with biasing. So in this again we are having pass to clamper with pass to biasing and pass to clamper with negative bias. So in this first I am considering the pass to clamper with pass to bias. So to make the pass to clamper with pass to biasing for the pass to clamper circuit we need to add the battery here. How we have to add means the pass to terminal of the battery should connect it to the diode here and the negative terminal should be grounded here. So in this case we will get the output, the total output waveform will shift towards the pass to direction from the battery voltage. Okay, from the battery voltage it will shift towards the pass to direction. So to see this Again, we need to take the input waveform. Here it 
is minus 2 volts here it is plus 2 volts d by 2 to t so during 0 to t by 2 input voltage is minus 10 volts here so minus plus and the battery voltage I am taking here it as 3 volts so during the minus 10 volts duration of the input signal for the cathode terminal we are providing the negative voltage and for the anode terminal we are providing the positive voltage so we are making the diode to forward bias but what about VB here, VB also making the diode to forward bias. Why? Because for the anode terminal, we are providing the positive voltage. So both the battery voltage as well as the input voltage are making the diode into forward bias condition. So once the diode is in forward bias condition means it acts like a short circuit. So the output signal we will get here it has how much battery voltage we are providing that is 3 volts so my output waveform here it is 3 volts during 0 to t by 2 the value is 3 volts and once the diode is in conduction mode means the capacitor starts charging with the polarity of the applied input waveform so the current direction is also in this way. So if you apply the KVL to this plus VI plus 3 volts minus VC is equal to 0. So VC equal to VI plus 3 volts. VI is minus of minus 10 volts here by because VI is negative plus 3 that is 13 volts the capacitor voltage is 13 volts so to see the operation for t by 2 to t duration so in that case my waveform is 0 to t by 2 to t here it is minus 10 here it is plus 10 volts and constraint T by 2 to T. In this case, the input voltage is 10 volts. That is plus minus. Again, the battery voltage is 3 volts. So, once we are providing the positive voltage to the cathode terminal of the diode and the negative voltage to the anode terminal of the diode, in that case, the diode acts like an open switch and we can take it as open circuit here and we need to compare it with the battery voltage also input voltage is 10 volts but the battery voltage is 3 volts here actually both the voltages are at VI is making the diode into the reverse bias VB is making the diode into the forward bias but the applied input voltage is greater than the battery voltage so that's why we are considering the input voltage here so for that input voltage, our diode is in open circuit. So once it is open, means signal will flow. So signal will flow like this, and the current direction in the circuit is in this way. So to find the output voltage, again we need to apply the KVL in this loop. We will get it as plus VI plus V0 and the capacitor voltage is minus plus here. So minus plus minus V is equal to 0. So V0 is equal to VI minus Vc. The current direction is from here to here. So it is plus VI plus V0 minus Vc equal to 0. So output voltage equal to Vi minus Vc. Input voltage is 10 volts. And the capacitor voltage we got here it as 13 volts. So if you take right side it will be plus So 
So B will equal to 2 plus 13 that is 23 moles. So if you draw the output waveform, we will get it as from 0 to T by 2, it is 3 volts. And from T by 2 to T, it is 23 volts. 3 volts, 23 volts. If you see the total input and output voltages, input voltage is 20 volts and the output voltage is also 20 volts. So there is no degradation across the output voltage. So this is the operation of the pass to clamper circuit with pass to bias. And the next type of circuit is pass to clamper with negative bias. If we change the direction of the battery in the pass to clamper with pass to bias, then we can able to get the circuit of pass to clamper circuit with negative bias. So in this case, if we apply the sinusoidal signal to this, we will get the waveform like this after battery level, the total signal will shift upwards because it is the pass to clamper circuit. So to see the analysis of this one, again I am considering the input waveform e equal to minus 10 ohms plus 10 ohms. So during 0 to t by 2 duration input voltage is minus 10 ohms. So here it is minus, here it is plus and battery voltage I am giving here it as 2 volts. So once we are providing the negative voltage for the cathode terminal, positive voltage for the anode terminal means diode being entered into the positive bias condition. And here battery voltage is making the diode into the reverse bias condition, but applied input voltage is greater than the battery voltage. So that's why diode being entered into the forward bias condition only. So it acts like a short circuit. So once it is short means the output voltage is applied battery voltage that is minus 2 volts. So the output voltage we will get here it as minus 2 volts. And once the diode is conducting means capacitor will charge with the applied input signal polarity that is BC I am taking to find that in applying the KVL in this loop with this direction. So I will get it as Vi minus Vc is equal to 0. So Vi is equal to Vc. So the capacitor voltage equal to minus of minus 10 volts that is 10 volts. Why? Because Vi is negative here. So that's why we are taking here it as minus of minus 10 volts. So capacitor voltage is 10 volts. And the same circuit I am taking to see the analysis for the next half cycle that is T by 2 to T. So in that case, input voltage is equal to plus 10 volts. So here it is plus, here it is minus. So in this case, input voltage is making the diode into the reverse bias condition and battery voltage is making the diode into also the reverse bias condition. So it is open now. So to find the output voltage, again apply the KV in this loop. So we will get it as plus VI plus VC plus minus V naught is equal to 0. So V naught equal to VI plus VC. Input voltage is 10 volts plus capacitor voltage is also 10 volts. So the total voltage is 20 volts. So the overall output voltage is from 0 to T by 2, it was minus 2 volts. And T by 2 to T, it is 20 volts. So total value we got here it as same. If we compare it with the input and output waveforms, both the voltages are same. So voltage degradation should not get across the output of the clamper. And the shape of the signal 
should also not alter in the case of clamping circuit just it should shift the level of the signal dc level of the applied input signal so these are the different types of clamper circuits so while coming to the applications of the clampers the major application is in order to remove the distortion in the waveforms we will use this and next for voltage doubling to increase the voltage level we can use this clampers and in order to improve the reverse recovery time of the diode in order to improve the reverse recovery time of the diode also we can use and in order to model our applied waveform into desired waveform we can use this clamper circuit so these are the major applications of the clamper here so when well, uh, if we see the differences between the clipping and clamping means cl clipper is used to clip or remove some portion of the input waveform so the shape of the signal will change across the output of the clipper but while coming to the clamper just we are shifting the dc level of the applied input signal so there is no change in the shape of the applied input signal thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates